Started out as a biology major. I wanted to be a forest ranger and I took an art course and uh, just fell in love with it. And one day I was oh, supposed to be studying for a test, but I was working on a project for the art class and I thought, this is really what I want to do. Why should I try something else? So I changed my major to art and I've been here 34 years. Uh, uh, I was born in a lower middle class family. My dad drove a truck. My mother worked at a department store. I went to a technical high school. I wasn't expected to go to college, but it was the 1960s and the world was changing quickly and I, was, I got caught up in the change. Um, for some reason, I wanted to go a thousand miles away from my home. The first thing I would do is be the only colic in the phone book. That was my dream. I knew that art was gonna be a hard path to take because it wasn't financially success, you weren't gonna be financially successful. And uh, I'll never forget, I was 18, 20, you know, I had a big Afro haircut and, and uh, we were in the basement of my dad's, uh, my, my, my parents' house and I said, Dad, wouldn't it be cool if we didn't have to work? And he said, what the hell would we do all day? And th that was pretty much a shock to, for at first, but then I realized he's absolutely right that you have to have a goal, you have to have a reason to get up in the morning and do something. I needed something that gave me more resistance. Uh, clay, for example, which is a beautiful material to work for bowls and sculpture, but it's too soft. It just allows the pliability too much. I need something that fought back and wood with its knots and grains and, and uh, stone just by its hardness and rigidness. Um, those things gave me the, the uh, conflict that I needed to, to create. You know, it was like, uh, I have an idea and the wood or the stone has an opposing idea and, and I have to force my will on it, but I can't, I can't just demand, I've got to take a percentage and then it gives me a little bit. A piece will break or, or you know, I'll hit a soft spot or cutting the, the wood, I'll think, ooh, wait a minute, that's nice. You know, I, I'll turn it this way and cut it that way. Um, so I like the resistance of it. I had a friend who was an architect and we were building a new building at our church and there was a 27 foot curved wall. And he said, you can do anything you want with that curved wall. I just need something, something on that wall, it's too plain. And uh, it took me a year, but I did 13 crosses. A lot of people said I, that they'd like to have a cross and be willing to pay me for it. So I started doing crosses as, as gifts. And, and then I started doing crosses as elements of my search for spirituality or Christianity. And, and um, and I'm continuing doing it now. Each time I do it, I think there's some aspect of my spiritual nature that I want to express in this cross. Uh, and the crosses, I keep making them. I'm not sure I, I know why, except every once in a while I get the urge to make some, and I, I do. Yeah, my dreams come true. This is where I am. And I work here every day, you know, seven days a week, and, and it isn't an obligation for me, it's just where I go, you know, it's what I want to do. Oh, isn't that cool? Inside, I have something that I, for some reason, think might be interesting to you. Let me put it out there and see what you think. That's what, that's what art does for me anyway, and that's what I think art is. So I plan on doing it forever, you know, as long as I can.